the evolution of life on Earth from single cells to complex organisms. Welcome to Amazed, the channel that delivers astonishing content that will leave you breathless. Today, we'll take you on a journey through time, exploring the incredible evolution of life on Earth. From the cosmic dust that birthed our planet, to the emergence of the first single-celled organisms, and even to the rise of humans, we will uncover the incredible story of life's evolution. Imagine a tale of survival and resilience that spans billions of years, filled with twists and turns that led to the extraordinary biodiversity we see today. Before we embark on this adventure, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that you never miss any of our future videos. One Origin of Life Billions of years ago, when the universe was but a spark, our planet was born from the chaos of cosmic collisions. It was a hostile world, battered by meteorites and seething with volcanic activity. But from the fiery depths of the early Earth, a miracle happened. In the warm waters of the oceans, the building blocks of life were created. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen combined in a chemical dance, forming simple compounds like amino acids and nucleotides. The stage was set for the grandest show on Earth, the emergence of life. But how did these humble ingredients come together to create the first living organism? This is a mystery that has confused scientists for centuries. Some theories suggest that the first spark of life was ignited by lightning strikes or volcanic activity, while others propose that it was brought to Earth by comets or meteorites. Regardless of its origins, life found a way to take root on our planet, and the first single-celled organisms were born. These tiny organisms were the pioneers of the biological world pushing the boundaries of what was possible and paving the way for the evolution of complex organisms that would follow. Two early single-celled organisms. These early single-celled organisms have been the building blocks of life as we know it today. They were the architects of the first ecosystems, creating a web of life that would support the evolution of more complex organisms. These tiny organisms were simple in structure, but were incredibly diverse in their functions and abilities. Some were photosynthetic, converting sunlight into energy, while others were chemosynthetic, obtaining energy from the chemical reactions in their environment. These single-celled organisms had to adapt and evolve rapidly to survive in a harsh and ever-changing environment. To that end, their success in doing so can be seen in the incredible diversity of life we see today. They were able to develop mechanisms to protect themselves from the harmful radiation of the sun and to repair their DNA when damaged. Some even developed symbiotic relationships with other organisms, allowing them to survive in otherwise inhospitable environments. As these single-celled organisms continued to evolve, they eventually gave birth to the first complex cells, marking a major turning point in the history of life on Earth. These complex cells had internal structures, such as mitochondria and chloroplasts, which enabled them to perform many specialized functions. They paved the way for the rise of multicellular organisms, which will be explored in the next section. Three Evolution of Complex Cells the evolution of complex cells was a game-changer in the story of life on Earth. These cells allowed organisms to perform specialized functions, such as respiration and photosynthesis, and enabled them to reach larger sizes than their single-celled ancestors. One of the most remarkable events in the evolution of complex cells was the endosymbiotic theory. This theory proposes that mitochondria and chloroplasts the organelles responsible for respiration and photosynthesis, respectively, were once free-living bacteria that were engulfed by larger cells. Over time, they developed a symbiotic relationship, with the host cell providing protection in a stable environment, and the mitochondria and chloroplasts providing energy in the form of ADP. The evolution of complex cells also led to the development of sexual reproduction, which allowed for greater genetic diversity and accelerated the rate of evolution. This is because, in sexual reproduction, 
Genetic material from two parents is combined, resulting in offspring that have a mix of traits from both parents. 4. Rise of Multicellular Organisms The rise of multicellular organisms was another major turning point in the history of life on Earth. It allowed for the creation of larger and more complex organisms, with a greater diversity of specialized cells and tissues. One of the first multicellular organisms was the Ediacaran biota, which lived over 500 million years ago. These organisms were soft-bodied and lacked hard pots, so their fossils are very rare. However, they are thought to have played a crucial role in the evolution of more complex organisms, providing the groundwork for the development of tissues and organs. The Cambrian Explosion which occurred around 541 million years ago, was another significant event in the rise of multicellular organisms. During this time, there was a rapid diversification of life forms, resulting in the emergence of many of the major animal phyla that exist today. The evolution of multicellular organisms allowed for the development of more complex ecological systems, with organisms occupying different niches and interacting in a multitude of ways. This diversity of life forms and interactions has allowed for the creation of the complex ecosystems we see today. 5. The Age of Dinosaurs the Age of Dinosaurs was a period of great diversity and change in the history of life on Earth. These reptilian giants dominated the Earth for over 165 million years, evolving into a vast array of forms, from small feathered theropods to massive sauropods with long necks and tails. The first dinosaurs evolved during the Late Triassic period, around 230 million years ago. During the Jurassic period, Around 200 million years ago, dinosaurs continued to evolve and diversify. This period saw the emergence of some of the most iconic dinosaurs, such as the giant herbivorous sauropods like Diplodocus and the carnivorous Allosaurus. It was also during this time that birds evolved from small, feathered theropods. The Cretaceous period, which began around 145 million years ago, was the final period of the age of dinosaurs. It saw the emergence of even more diverse and specialized dinosaur species, including the famous Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. However, the age of dinosaurs came to a sudden and catastrophic end around 66 million years ago, when a massive asteroid impact caused a mass extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs and many other life forms. Six Mammals and the Rise of Humans After the extinction of the dinosaurs, mammals became central to the story of life on Earth. Mammals had been present since the late Triassic period, but it was not until the demise of the dinosaurs that they were able to diversify and occupy many of the niches that had been previously dominated by reptiles. During the Paleocene and Eocene epochs, Around 6,634 million years ago, mammals began to evolve into a wide range of forms, from small insectivores to massive herbivores like Endricotherium, the largest land mammal that ever lived. One of the most significant events in the evolution of mammals was the emergence of primates around 55 million years ago. Primates are a diverse group of mammals that includes humans, apes, monkeys, and prosimians. They have specialized adaptations, such as opposable thumbs, binocular vision, and complex social behavior that have allowed them to thrive in a wide range of environments. Over millions of years, primates continue to evolve and diversify. Eventually, around two to three million years ago, the genus Homo emerged with the first members of our species, Homo sapiens, appearing around 300,000 years ago. The rise of humans has had a profound impact on the Earth and on the other forms of life that share it with us. 7. The Future of Life on Earth The future of life on Earth is uncertain. However, it is certainly going to evolve and change. As humans continue to exert their influence on the Earth, it is more important than ever to work towards a sustainable future that lets us coexist with the other forms of life that share our planet. 
There is still much we don't know about the planet and its inhabitants. Scientists are continuing to explore the depths of the oceans, the vast reaches of space, and the microscopic world of genetics and molecular biology. By working together and sharing knowledge, we can learn more about the world around us and make informed decisions about how to protect it. The story of life on Earth is a fascinating and complicated one, and the roads are very winding, from the origins of life itself to the rise of complex organisms and the emergence of humans. The history of life on Earth is a story of adaptation, evolution, and resilience. Looking into the future, we must take into account our responsibility to protect and keep the planet and all its inhabitants. By learning from the past and working together, we can create a brighter future for ourselves and all living things. So, if you're inspired by the story of life and want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to our channel Amazed for more amazing content. And don't forget to like and share this video.